Hi there, welcome to the Beetle Garage. Now I want to check my Algosoma Centaurus that I have in this big 65 liters box. It's just to see whether they really develop or what they are doing here. Uh, I don't think that you can see something from this is the stem of a mushroom. So I will try to to just have a look inside whether we find traces of the larva, whether they have grown in the last two months uh, here in this box. Also whether humidity is okay for them because they seem to uh, be happy to grow in uh, rather wet substrates. And of course we have to first remove some of the material here. Uh, that we can come. Yeah, to the bottom of the box then. And as soon as I've, I've checked it, we can leave them here. It's just the control to see whether they are all right, or whether they miss something here. Okay, so. Where are they? This is from the mushroom, it came out of this stem here. Oh look at that, wow! Now they have pretty grown pretty big here, that's a nice one. Look, Alcosoma centaurus, that's only one of them. Now let's see where they find, let's find the traces of the other ones also. It says a little bit too dry, I think, here. Oh, here's another one. Oh, wow, look at this one. Seems to be pretty big now. How heavy it is now. This is 29.2 grams, is this one. And this one is 27 grams. Nice, big. Lorvas of Algosoma Tentaurus. So they grow well. I leave them like this. I don't disturb them anymore. Just put them back. It's nice that we have seen them. They seem to grow well here. Also they, they seem to have not touched this big piece of white rotten wood yet. And that's a happy moment to see they are uh, well. They also are pretty hairy as you can see here. They seem to be pretty hairy. Yeah. Algosoma centaurus, the biggest rhinoceros beetle of Africa. That's for the moment. We come back in around three months, check them again, and see whether they have grown here. Looks good now. Thanks for watching.